Hey, how y'all doing today? I'm coming to y'all today with some cheese sliders that I made. I know it look a little sloppy. And I got some seasoned fries that I cut up I made. There's ketchup and ranch on it. And look at my little sliders. You see them? They look delicious. And I got me some natural flavor strawberry sparkling water beverage from Kroger. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just a little sad today. Over 73 people this past weekend got shot. 73 in Chicago. My God. They really need to have a martial law. They need to pass it in Chicago. Because there's so many innocent kids. And just people, period, getting killed. It don't make no sense. Y'all see my burger? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sometimes I like to eat my fries and put a little ranch and ketchup on them. I always season them with lemon pepper, a little seasoning salt, and garlic salt. Mm. It is delicious. Whew. That's good. That's real good. Mm, excuse me. I just decided to make these. I had a taste for some sliders today. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make me some myself. See the green peppers in there? Onion. And I made like little balls. Them like you know, like little big hamburgers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all should be used to me eating by now. Y'all know I like the bangers when I'm eating. I just pray for the city of Chicago, and I pray for it every day, to keep it covered with the blood of Jesus all around everybody. I was watching uh, earlier today on YouTube about a mother who called the police to help her with her son. He was schizophrenic and bipolar. She came out the door first and he was behind her. He had a little bitty screwdriver. And as she was walking past, she said he's schizophrenic and bipolar. And when she moved out the way, the police told her, put down, put down the screwdriver, put down the screwdriver. And shot him five times and killed him. I just say it's just so it's it's terrible. You have to stay prayed up each and every day, even when you in your house. As well as when you go outside. I would say you have to live each and every day to the fullest. You can't let anything or nobody, nobody, get you upset or keep you stressed out. Bills, if you had them, you can't pay them, you can't worry about it. Because worry brings on stress, and stress brings on illnesses. And that's the number one killer. Ooh, this 
sparkling water is good. Oh, see, here we go, right here. Y'all have a little fun. It's very tasteful. It's good. <clears throat> Today it's a little gloomy outside, but it still feels good outside. I drank my cheeseburger and ketchup. I love ketchup. Mmm. I'm sorry, I still need to eat more of my food than anything. I love cooking. Mm. And I was listening to uh, Queen's mother. I watch her channel. Mama, I forgot Mama something, but this morning she was talking about your blessings, and she was saying how blessed she is and how God did it. She recognized God first, and God is the one who's always, always there for you. He blessed me when I'm not even expecting it to come. It comes. It happens. That's why I wake up and I get God all the glorified every day. Every day. Because God keeps you. You ever realize how some people can get shot five times and they live? And the person gets shot one time and they die. To me, I always say it's just your time. I know a guy who I worked with years ago. And he had just came to the United States. And he got robbed. He got shot in the head. And he had the bullet enlarged in his head. And you can see it in his forehead sticking out. But he the most thing that he said to me, he said, Letitia, God kept me here. It was God. That's why I do believe you have to do people right in this lifetime. Because good are always following you. Even when you get your haters. Even when people just talking about you. You still have to pray for them, and you have to still love them, even if it's from afar. You know, sometimes you have people in your life, they don't mean you no good, as you say, but you have to just pray for them. Sometimes people think they're getting away with stuff, stuff, they're doing stuff to you. And you're like, why me? Don't ask no questions. You just pray about it. You <clears throat> and you put it in God's hand. And God will take care of it. In life, we go through trials and tribulations. And those trials and tribulations are supposed to make us get stronger. And we're supposed to learn from our mistakes that we make. And I always take the time out to tell each and everybody that matters to me, even strangers, I love you. Because it's very important. Sometimes they can help somebody go further. And when somebody gives you a blessing, sometimes they don't even realize they're blessing you. And every time that happens to me, I always, I let that person know. Whether it's a, a, a bill if I call and I can get an extension or whatever else, it's something that I didn't expect. And that's God working because faith, you have to have faith. You have to have hope. And you have to believe that God has you. Because if you sit and you worry, God can't do what he got to do. That's what they say. 
pray on them, let it go. Whether it's relationships, whether it's bills, whether it's a job, just anything, whether it's your kids, you pray on them. I don't know, it just it just came to me today for me to just talk about it. I realize one thing in life is that this body is going back to ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But the spirit that's inside of this body is going back to God. And while you're here on this earth, right now, starting today, leave the past in the past. Let go any hard, hard feelings, any the problems that you have, put it in the past. Let them go. If somebody did something to you, let it go. Because the more you hold on to it, the more that you're cutting off your blessings. Because God has a forgiving heart. He forgives everybody. No matter what you do, he's there for you. And he's going to forgive you. You know, the most important thing about life is we don't think, a lot of people, we don't think about death. You know. And it's very important to get life insurance. It's very important. Because you don't want to leave your loved ones behind worrying about how they're going to bury you. Or leave your loved ones behind to take care of bills that you have. That's why it's very important. We can pay cell phone bills. We can pay car notes. Why not make life insurance your main priority? Because it's important. Mm. It's really good. See how I scooped up that ranch and that ketchup? Mm. Well, family, I love you. And I hope you hit that subscribe button. And like button and give me some comments and let me know what you want me to do. I don't know how many times I gotta ask y'all. If y'all love me, y'all do it. I got one more little piece. Mm -hmm. And I love you, family. And take care of yourself and be blessed and prosper in life. Be around people that's going to. Fill you with happiness and love. Don't be with nobody who's not going to love you. Uncon Excuse me. Unconditional love is priceless. So I love you. Until next time.